All right, so coach, uh, the Cowboys guard Zach Martin says they're going to run the exact same plays that they run on the ground, even without Zeke. Do you expect them to find similar success that way? Well, he's got to feel pretty good about it because that's that same offensive line. Now, there's nothing exotic about the running game of the Dallas Cowboys. It's as simple as a screwdriver. It's downhill. It's some of the zone, lead, ISO. So, obviously, Alfred Morris is going to step in. Here you see Ezekiel Elliott, and here's what I'm talking about. You're going to see this. This is a hat-on-a-hat football. They get up to the second level. They've got a hat-on-a-hat. Ezekiel Elliott can work through the hole, and then he's got that explosiveness afterwards. You're going to see the same thing here out of 22 personnel. Two tight ends. they got a fullback in front of them. Ezekiel Elliott loves to run this fullback-oriented offense. You can build the box with nine guys. doesn't matter because he's going to make the ninth guy miss. He's going to run through the tackle and get the big play. Now, Albert Morris is also a physical back. Here you're going to see, though, in the – what they like to do, they tend to run a little more counter game. They're going to pull the guard, pull the tight end, get a down-down kick out. He's not a necessarily explosive back, although he gets a big play here. He is physical, so he's going to ground out those extra yards. And then you're going to see here a little simple trap play. They're going to pull the guard. They're going to kick out the defensive uh, uh, tackle, get up to the second level with the guard and the tackle. Nice big play. Alfred Morris is a good physical back. He's just not quite as explosive. So naturally, Jason Garrett's going to have to rely on Dak Prescott and that passing offense to come up with more big plays if they're going to keep up with the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, and and Zeke's out now just as that Cowboys run game is really getting going. They've rushed for over 104 straight games. The Chiefs uh, rush, uh, rushing the passer really got after it against the Broncos uh, yeah. in, in week eight, Sean. Do you expect that Justin Houston, I mentioned, had the pair of sacks, will have similar success against uh, Lyle Collins, the Cowboys' right tackle, as he did against Menelik Watson? Yeah, it's going to be a really good matchup. And as Coach mentioned, look, if the Cowboys are struggling to run the football, now all of a sudden that passing game is going to have to step up to keep up with the Chiefs' offense. It's a great matchup with Justin Houston going against Lyle Collins. And here's Lyle Collins last week against Ryan Kerrigan. He really struggled with this outside speed rush. Watch Ryan Kerrigan kind of beat swipe to the outside and get Lyle Collins to dip his head. When you dip your head in the tackle on that outside rush, you're beat. And it happened a couple of times. Two sacks against Kerrigan. Now look at Justin Houston. This is one of his fortes. He loves this outside rush. Now he's going to present the stab arm right here on Marcus Cannon, the right tackle. Cannon's going to race for the bull rush. And now he swipes the outside arm, dips the head, and he's beat. This is Justin Houston's, one of his signature moves. I think this is going to be a great matchup to watch. Here he is last week against Menelik Watson. Same move. Quick stab hand. Now he swiped the outside. The head dips down on the tackle. Now he's beat. This is what Lyle Collins has to try to avoid. Now, how do you do that? You do a great job on first and second down so you don't get into third and long. But a lot of great matchups in this game, Rhett. Obviously, Marcus Peters versus Des Bryant. Demarcus Lawrence, who leads the NFL in sacks against right tackle Mitchell Schwartz. But this one could end up being the determining factor in this game. 